right. So I have here a subscriber request that I just thought would be absolutely fun to do. Just going in and doing uh, VK168s versus mouse shins playing like VK168s. Now, if you look at the VK168, it looks kind of like a backwards driving mouse. Um, <laughs> and the mouse shins are supposed to drive and look like, uh, play kind of like the VK168s. So they're only allowed to play backwards. And we're going to see who can win. The players and the mouse shins having to play backwards or the VK 168s. Now, I wasn't in this one. Um, more airtime for the subscribers. Want to thank my subscribers for doing this. Have a split screen um, replay just a little bit later on. But we all know the mouse chin is better than the VK 168. The VK 168 is a tier 8 and the mouse chin is a tier 9. But the thing that makes it so entertaining and interesting to watch is the fact that the mouse gins, like I said, can only play backwards. So their controls are a bit different, maybe a little messed up. Um, and so we're gonna go in and just kind of see how this plays out. We'll do three rounds back to back. We'll kind of change it up, maybe minus one from one side. If one side ends up doing better than the other, and um, so we'll just kind of take it from there. So <clears throat> looking at the rear armor of the mouse chin, which they're using as the front armor, you can see getting uh, penned really not too difficult. Whereas the, the actual front of the mouse chin has, it's much more well armored. So <laughs> basically tier nine, backwards tanks against um, tier 8 normal tanks. So just took out one VK-168. Now, the mouse chin does have a higher hit point pool, but it's just funny because if you just look at the mouse chin backwards, that's really what it just about looks like. It, ju it looks like a VK-168. So, one is down... Now the mouse chin does have more hit points. And it it was quite funny because constantly the subscribers that were playing the mouse chins were typing in the comments just how painful it was. <laughs> Only being able to drive the mouse chin backwards. So two VK168s out. And so at this point I'm thinking, okay. So we're gonna do one extra VK-168, or uh, yeah, one extra VK-168 against the mouse shins. Just to see if that balances things out. They're doing pretty good. Now you can see the rear of the mouse chin, or the, what's actually the rear, is much flatter than its original front. So there it is, only one mouse chin taking out. So now we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and there's going to be one extra VK-168. We're going to go in and take a look Get the view from the VK-168 point of view to see who will now win this. Now obviously tier 9 tanks are supposed to be better than the tier 8 tanks just because they're a whole tier higher, they have to be balanced properly, but having to play a tier 9 only backwards or reversed against a tier 8 <laughs> I just thought was quite a quite a clever subscriber request definitely love your guys' subscriber request just, definitely, just keep them coming so closing in the hard thing too is that with them being slow and you can just see that that lower plate is just so much weaker if that would have been on the front 
the actual front of the mouse shin, that would not have gone through. So it does leave him a bit more vulnerable. This mouse shin's getting hit quite a bit. This mouse chin is not in a good place. Ooh, just getting hit from different sides here. Not too good. Down to about one more hit. See, now that's the actual front of the mouse chin. And you can see just how much stronger that upper plate is compared to the rear when these VK-168s aim in on it. Now as far as my videos go, everyone is more than welcome to join. If you're on the uh, NA server, that's where I do my rooms. Join my Discord, it's where I do my announcements. Um, for when I do the rooms, make sure you get the movie crew roll. And uh, more the merrier, everyone is uh, allowed to participate. So mouse shins got pretty worked in this one. So now we're gonna go back to another match where it's equals. So equal numbers. Both sides just to see which one will win. So here we have the mouse shins turning around. <laughs> just hilarious, I just could not help but laugh. And now going into battle. And now they basically look the same. It's just funny. That's basically a VK-168 right there. Obviously some slight difference, but in terms of looks, they both have that massive capole on top. They both have that like mouse-ish looking turret. And it's, it's uh, reversed. Now, I've had a couple subscribers ask me to do showdown vids of like 7v7 of like one type that's a tier 8, another one that's a tier 9, or one that's a tier 9 and one that's a tier 10. And that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because we all know which one will win unless the players themselves just run into some bad luck or aren't doing that well the tier higher will win so that's why i don't i don't do showdowns of tanks that are typically one tier higher than others but i thought this was fun and creative from the subscriber just because it makes it much more challenging being the tier 9 player even though you're in a better tank having to play backwards not to mention your armor is weaker so I thought it was, I thought this one was actually quite interesting. So playing on the hills can be a bit challenging, just aiming for those massive cupolas. And it's not the most accurate tank. You can see these tanks just sometimes having a hard time trying to hone in and get those weak spots. Maustian's looking like they're getting pinned a little bit in this area. Ooh, nice ricochet. Both sides doing pretty good. Which one do you guys think it'll be? Who will win? Now the VK-168, being that it's playing normally, does have a stronger upper hull. Whereas the mouse shin 
playing backwards, you can just see how much easier that is to penetrate. Trying to use the gun depression. Oof. This is a very, very difficult situation for these tanks. And when you don't have the shot, shoot HE. Getting some good shots off each other. Ooh, and we've got one Malshin down. Two left. Who is going to do it? Ooh. One more Malshin down. Still a decent hit point pool. Taking hits. This may be it. And I'm not sure it looks like he might have just given up. So anyway, I hope you guys found this quite interesting. Thought it was a funny sub uh, request battle to do. Um, this is the muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.